Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In this episode of Luminar 2018 Tips and Tricks, by request, we're going to take a close look at the Orton Effect filter. The so-called Orton Effect was created by a real guy. In the 1980s, landscape photographer Michael Orton was looking for a way that he could give his landscape images a watercolor painting look and feel. So he came up with this effect. Now, of course, in the 1980s, Michael Orton was using film. His effect has been transferred over into the digital realm, but in my opinion, his effect in the digital photography realm has been more relegated to portraiture. So in this demonstration, I'm going to start out showing you the effect with a portrait, but then we're going to move over and we're going to demonstrate the effect with a landscape image as Michael Orton intended the effect to be used as. So we're in Luminar. I have this image and we're going to summon the Orton effect filter. We're just going to go to add filters and we're going to go down here to Orton effect and you can see it adds the filter. And it's one of those filters that won't do anything to your image until the amount slider is moved to the right. Directly above the amount slider, you'll see there's a drop down and there's two different types. The best way to describe the difference is type one seems to be a little brighter than type two and have a little more contrast than type two. And I'm going to start out with the demonstration by using type one. And as I mentioned, we need to move the amount slider to the right. And you can see as I move the amount slider to the right, we get an overall softness to the scene. It's a beautiful look, and I do think it really works well with portraiture. And you can see it gives the lady kind of an ethereal glow. Very well done. Very cool looking effect. Below the amount slider are four sliders. Three are grouped together and usually when Skylim groups sliders together they either work on a similar part of the image like these sliders work on highlights and these this group of sliders work on shadows or they do similar things like one is um, uh, like uh, low detail or small detail, medium detail, high detail and they're grouped together. Well I'm not sure why these are grouped together because they kind of work everywhere. So it's a little weird and so does saturation work everywhere which is separated from those other three. Now softness when you move it to the right it just makes the image softer. You lose some contrast. You can see how when it's to the left we have more pronounced shadows around her nose and eyes and as I move the softness slider to the right it softens that. It removes those that higher contrast and makes the image even softer overall. So that's your softness slider. Move it to the left to increase contrast. Move it to the right to decrease contrast and soften in the effect, soften the image. Brightness seems to disproportionately brighten the, the highlights as opposed to the shadows. And you only could increase brightness. You'll notice it's at zero. It's all the way to the left. We cannot bring brightness down. So we're going to move that to the right. And you can see how, in my opinion, it kind of disproportionately brightens the highlights compared to the shadows. This slider, if you have a model with light skin like our model has here, but the background isn't as bright, you'll find that if you move brightness to the right, it will kind of make her skin glow and make her skin kind of pop out. So that's where this slider, I think, is more effective. It's not as effective in this image because we have such a bright, um, area around our model. Then we have contrast and it is your typical contrast slider. You move it to the right you'll increase contrast, move it to the left you'll decrease contrast. And then we have a typical saturation slider. Move it to the right to increase color saturation, move it to the left to decrease saturation until we get a black and white image. So you can move those sliders to taste to get the image you'd like. Also you could try see what type 2 looks like. And as I mentioned type 2 seems to be not as bright and not as contrasty as type 1. So again, one might work better than another. I, I think this is a great, great filter, but I also think it's one of those filters that you really can't predict the results. You really have to come in and move the sliders around and try to find a um, happy place for each of the sliders that work for your image. Now we'll demonstrate this same filter on a landscape image. I'll add it. 
I'll close down the filter catalog and we'll start out with type one and I'll just move them out up and you can see how it kind of softens everything the clouds the grass the rocks the grain elevator in the background and then we could go over and try type two and you can see how that isn't as bright and not as contrasty as type one so let's work with type two see what we could do here move this to the right and we kind of soften everything less less in contrast everywhere I'll add a little brightness, just very little. And see, we'll add a little contrast there, I guess, and we'll add some saturation. I'm going to turn them out up more, and I'm going to bring saturation down. Let's go back to type one, bring brightness down. I kind of like type one better on this image as well. So for both images, I prefer type one. So again, I really can't give you a formula or a recipe to work the sliders in a specific way to get a specific look. It's going to be different for every image you do, every scene you do, and it's really by feel. And you're really just going to have to look at your image and try to get it dialed in to something you really like. So it's a relatively simple filter, but it really has a strong effect on your image. So personally, I prefer it for portraiture. I think it does a great, great job. Thank you to Woody who recommended or requested that I do this video. And thank you to everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.